fights with Alexis Arguello go down in history as some of the best ever. But after a two and a half year layoff when he admitted cocaine abuse, can Pryor show the ability and the confidence of old? Well, added interest in Britain comes with the news that Pryor's opponent, Bobby Joe Young, will fight Lloyd Hunnigan for the world title if he comes through this fight unscathed. We join Reg Guthridge ringside at sunrise, and as you'll see, there's action even before the first bell. So one of the great champions there, Alexis Aguayo, man who defeated my sparring partner Jim Watt and had two fights with Aaron Pryor on the comeback trail now. Ladies and gentlemen, from the beautiful Sunrise Musical Theater here in Sunrise, Florida, we present the return of the Hawk. This is a Walter Alvarez production. Well, what's Pryor doing going over Mr. to the other Frankie corner? There's a little Otero. bit of aggro. Yes, he's, he started a game with Tommy Parks, who is uh, Bobby Joe Young's Young's trainer. They had a scuffle at the weigh-in. He's 59 Robert years old, Parks. Chairman. What is Pryor doing? He's already had his problems out of the ring. He's lucky to be back in in many ways. First introducing in the blue corner. This gentleman tipped the Toledos at 146 and one quarter pounds from Steubenville, Ohio, now residing in Jersey City, New Jersey. He has a professional record of 29 wins, just five defeats with 22 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Bobby Joe Young. Young. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He tipped in at an even 148 pounds. From Cincinnati, Ohio, now making his home in Miami, Florida, this young man is undefeated in 36 professional bouts 32 by knockout he's the former wba and ibf junior welterweight champion ladies and gentlemen here is the hawk aaron Pryor. Pryor. and that's the old habit to, that aaron Pryor had there the arms stretched to the opponent referee is bernie soto and i think he may have a little bit of trouble handling this fight the way it started so the return then of prior a man who's had 11 championship fights unbeaten and it hasn't fought since March of 85 and has uh, been addicted to cocaine but has now been past fit and cleared up but he really is some kind of wild character with troubles out of the ring and then sparking off a little rumpus with Bobby Joe Young's trainer but they're saying in uh, Florida that this fellow's now got himself fit again but we'll find out in the Musical Theatre of Sunrise, which is a suburb of Miami. Well, he was a great fighter. Threw a lot of leather, wasn't too stylish. Twice defeated Alex Aguelo in Miami and Las Vegas for the then WBA Light Worldweight Championship. And that was 10 stone. He's in at 10-8 this time. And Bobby Young, 10-6 and a quarter. But Young, no pushover. He's actually 28. And uh, Pryor's 31. Well, he's made a lively enough start now. Prior, he's, he's come out firing punches, but it's not an easy opponent. In his early career, he had 12 fights inside three rounds. He knocked people over. And the last thing they lose in this game is the power of their punch. They might lose a bit of time in, bit of speed. But when it lands, it still hurts. So now whether... The judgment of Pryor coming back. Oh. 
Well, I've got to say, should he have made a comeback? And uh, looking like that, he doesn't know where he is. He's counting with the timekeeper. I told you this guy was totally unpredictable. There's never been one quite like this. Well, he nails people early, Bobby Joe Young, and he's doing it again here. What a humiliation this is for an unbeaten champion on a comeback in a state where he's now living. There's nothing, he's got a few problems, but there's nothing wrong with his ticker, Aaron Fire. He's always been in there willing to fight. But his actions are a man who... He just hasn't got a control of himself by the way he's fighting. His legs are going one way, he's shaking his head. Previous fights now, Pra literally climbs all over the opponent, just swarms them with punches. He's had 32 knockouts or stoppages from his 36 wins. And it looks as though they could have sorted out somebody a little easier to make the comeback than this one. swelling already and you notice the seconds are wearing rubber gloves that's the aids rule now they have to wear them and in this replay that was the right hand that did it just chopped it down backing off didn't pay any dividends there the second and prior has got to be a round down having taken that knockdown you might notice there the referee wearing the rubber gloves as well now they're making it a, a rule in a lot of states now for to combat the aids in case either boxer bleeds although they now have to test boxers certainly in britain uh, for the aids Is he going to try and hang out that chin, Aaron Pryor? He could afford to do that in his younger day. But uh, having been out all that time since March of 85, he might find this uh, a little hard to come back. Oh, and again, you see, he's losing balance. He took it right on the chin, which is understandable. The punch goes from chin to legs. Getting in shape and sparring is one thing, but doing the... The real thing in the ring is a different game altogether, especially if the opponent is a lively one like Bobby Joe Young. Now living in New Jersey, which is a very hot state at the moment for boxing. A lot of talent there. Well, his old opponent, Alex Aguila there of Priors, is sitting in the audience wondering, well, I wonder whether the, the Hawks should have flown out of the game uh, at the same time as me. There he is in the evening dress uh, in the row, back row there. Well, young, young fancies his chances a bit there. He's throwing a few bombs early on, isn't he? There's no tapping punches going in. I can't believe that uh, Pryor's advisors have sorted this guy out for a comeback. He's dangerous. And yet he lost his previous contest to a Nigerian called Young Dick Tiger. But he's had 22 stoppages in 29 wins now for Young. Against five losses and two drawn. Oh, 
and they're yelling in Young's corner, get off, meaning he's let the punches go, and he can't miss Pryor with them. He's nodding as if to say, uh, I'm okay, but I'm not sure he's uh, really in command of his senses enough there, Pryor. Thinks he's got a cut either way, he's dabbing the eye there, Pryor. Doesn't seem to notice any leaking as we come up the end of that one. Now that's, he almost slid into that punch as we watch in replay. And he's, I think he's trying to have a conversation there, Pryor. But he's soaking it up. And into the third round, then. And uh, not a very good start at all then for the former light world away champion of the world. Well, he's entitled, I suppose, to find his feet to, in the opening rounds, but he's had trouble staying on them. I can understand Pryor not wanting to come back against the total, as they would say in American rings, Patsy, but uh, I think he's picked himself a little bit of a dangerous one here. But he's willing to mix it back now. Is he getting back into the fight? This is a touch of the old prior. Move. He used, used the ropes uh, unfairly there. The referee should have just uh, given him a mild warning for that, pulling himself away. Oh, there he goes now. A little bit of showing off. He, he's, he's done this in fights of, of years ago. And uh, how can you knock a winning record? It works for Pryor. And the way he fights you, you've got to be a, a little bit half wild in your ring style and probably his lifestyle and maybe that's what caused the drug addiction but to his credit they say he's got off and i'm sure the medical people would not have renewed his license unless they were satisfied wins as a champion was over the Japanese Akio Kamida who uh, fought Terry Marsh in London this year still looking to throw those hard right hand bombs Bobby Joe Young he chopped down well with it he's a very confident fighter this Well, maybe the troubles that Pryor had at the start of the fight were due to ring rust. And now it's really getting back a little bit more even anyway. He's got it to make up still, Pryor, but he's come back in this round a bit better. replay there there was a little bit of success coming and th that was the style of the old prior he, he just wore his uh, opponents down with a volume of punches but young seems to be waiting for him the whole time and looking for the counter punch 
But a fairly good spurt there, wasn't it, by Pryor? Into the fourth of a scheduled ten. And nicknamed the Hawk Pryor. Trying to claw his way back now into this fight after a bad start. Oh, it's a bit confusing with the referee with the white rubber gloves on there as he waves his arm around and looks as though he's tic tacking Oh, now, this is a bit better now with Pryor. He's, he's loosened up a little bit. He's got a bit more class in his fighting. A good shot, and he held onto the ropes well there, Young. He was hurt. Oh, yes. That's a bit more like the Pryor we knew. Looks as though he's bothered young a bit now, doesn't it? He's, oh, yes, a little bit of the old uh, soft shoe shuffle there from Pryor, but none of them did it quite like Ali. Trunks are just getting below that foul-proof protector as well uh, of Pryor, certainly protecting his, his rib cage, isn't it? pulling on there for Young. Getting a bit untidy. It's been a bit bad-tempered, of course, but uh, Fryer's created that, having that uh, fracas before the fight and at the weigh-in uh, with Young's trainer. The man of 59 years old. Crowder with the Fryer, there's no doubt about it. They love the underdog coming back there. The man who's... Nobody knows the troubles he's seen, but he looks like he may have overcome them. And that's to his credit. Nothing gets easier in the fight game when you pass the great divide of 30, as Pryor is, and especially in the lighter weight divisions. Oh, yes. Try that for size, the way he laid that right hand on him. was definitely priority's best here wasn't it uh, and that's where he just stumbled he was hurt all right and he did well there prior to back off into the fifth and just uh, managing to pop that gum shield in right literally at the last second Schedule then to remind you for 10 rounds. And Aaron Pryor with the black stripe. And looking like, well, you can never say he's back at his best, it's too early for that. But certainly looking a lot better in the third and fourth than he did in the opening two rounds. But he's uh, very much an unpredictable fighter, as he is character. Yeah, 
And he's getting tagged a bit now, Pryor. He's, he's starting that casual stuff that he does. He's totally loses his concentration, I suspect. calling out from the corner there to Young that he's tired, Bobby. This could well be... It's been a, a fairly hot pace, and I'm surprised now that uh, Pryor hasn't really opened up as he did in the previous round. He's lost a little bit of zest here. He's falling a bit short with those punches. It's no use to prior trying to ignore punches like that as he thinks he's getting on top a bit and uh, he's getting a bit risky there hanging the chin out he's got to watch it he never was the the slipperiest of fellas he, he could be caught but uh, he could ride them well and absorb them well, but can he now? Yeah. See, when he moves around, that's the way he was good at that, moving head side to side. That's the way he should be doing it, because he's getting caught with silly punches. Stop around. Go again. Stop putting them together now. He can't take it too much more. All right? So he's asking now for a bit of a ri revival water. I, he is blowing a bit uh, prior. I'm a bit surprised at that. And uh, another look at that one now. See Bobby Joe Young still throwing dangerous shots. A little harder with the right hand than prior appears to be landing. Coming out then for the sixth round. Uh, having overcome the knockdown at the start now prior came back into the fight but i thought maybe just uh, just blowing it a little bit in the fifth came in of course a hot favorite despite being so inactive and not even in any serious form of training until comparatively recently oh a right hand right on the button he walked straight into that square Now, can his body really cope with the sort of shots inflicted now, having been out so long? And one wonders what a uh, drug addiction does to the system, even when it's dried out. Whether you, this is the hardest game of all, you know, whether you can stand up to it. Or the game right on the button. He's going to nail him with the right hand, it would seem. But he's still brave enough, Pryor. He's trying to hang in there. Not quite putting the punches together fast enough for as he did, obviously, in his prime. He had one good spell in the fight when he was doing that, but he's, he's stealing too many breathers between punches now. I suppose you would expect that with a long layoff. And he's getting up on his toes well now, isn't he? Trying to say, I'm a little bit fitter than you think I am. Referee's not allowing them to fight inside very much. Maybe that's just as well. They're getting tangled up a bit.
See, that's what I mean when he's not sure what he wants to do prior. When you're talking about good champions. He's just taking those little pauses between trying to make up his mind between brain and, and gloves, saying, what do I want to do next? See, that's what I mean. He's, he could be looking for openings, but I doubt it. The old prior just kept swarming in. in the ice bucket and push that swelling away on Pryor's face. And he's obviously got a bit of nose problem there and in replay now. So he got caught with that right hand. He did well to stand up from that prior, really. Proved a good puncher in the past and in this one, Bobby Joe Young. See, there he is, sparring for openings a little bit, but a bit hesitant, nonetheless. <laughs> Seventh round. And he's still very sort of touch and go where the prior is going to hang in there long enough. He's, he's got over the early troubles, got back into the fight, and now he's just... Uh, oh! As I said that... He didn't know what hit in there. Back to the referee, looking at his corner. No control at all. And almost trying to say, what do I do now? Listen to the referee. And he's, he's quite rightly been counted out because the referee has to continue counting when he was defenceless there. He could have stopped it when he stood up and had his back towards him. And there will be a bit of argument about that. But it doesn't look as though Pryor is really in control. And I don't argue with referees for stopping fights like that. So they're making a bit of a hero of Bobby Young, and uh, I'm not sure that it quite deserves that. And there'll be a great deal of sympathy, really, going Pryor's way, despite all his uh, silly habits in many ways. He's still been a great fighter, and this is his first defeat. And the doctor checking him. And, well, after all the problems, they're old pals again. But I'm afraid Pryor looks as though he's on that treadmill to nowhere. <laughs> 